Okay, this is Mike from Get Your Rock Out. I'm here with the assorted members of Octane OK here in Manchester. How are you guys doing? Very well, yeah, thank you, mate. Too bad. Good. Yeah, yeah, how's the tour going? Fantastic. Really good so far. Yeah, we've done, uh, we've done two dates. This is the third day. So, um, looking forward to Manchester tonight. Awesome. All right, well, let's talk about the debut album due for release this year. First of all, when's it coming out? Uh, we're coming out summer, summer 2013, ready to go. Awesome, and uh, for the fans who are already following you, what can they expect? Any tracks that they may know from following you on the road? And for any new fans who may want to buy it, what does this have that will add to your already impressive fan base? It's a secret. <laughs> uh, we've got, got a few tracks of Lordy now, and then some newer ones which are a bit heavier, a bit more mature, a bit bigger. So, mix mixture of both. Okay. Alright, uh, you've been making a name for yourselves below the radar for a while now. Uh, you're impressed enough to earn a nomination for Best Newcomer at the Kerrang Awards a couple of years ago. What do you feel you must achieve in 2013, other than a successful album release, to get Octane OK on everyone's lips? Uh, more tour dates. We need to get out on the road and play to big audiences and, you know, get people recognising the name a bit more. Yeah, hopefully this year we're going to be hitting the road hard and we're going to be out all the time and uh, getting, getting ourselves around. Alright. Okay, you filmed a video for the song Standing On My Own, which can be viewed online right now, as well as on Nurse, Skulls and Kerrang. Uh, how did the idea for the video story come about? Uh, we always use the same company called Sitcom Soldiers. We, I send them the track, the lyrics, and then they come up with an idea, and we always go with it. So, yeah, it's all down to them, something to do with us. Can't <laughs> take any credit for it. <laughs> Uh, you did make another video a couple of years ago for the song Take Take, which has a bit of a different sound. Uh, which one is more of a, an idea, a sample of what's going to be on the album, or are they both a uh, representation of a varied set of songs? Oh no, it's, it's Stand On My Own is like the, the, the sound we've got at the moment. Yeah. Definitely a more mature, bigger tracks. Yeah, yeah. Take Take's like a, a much older song. Yeah, we've, we've all developed as players and writers, stuff like now. so yeah, yeah. All right, one thing I noticed while checking you guys out on YouTube is your predilection for uh, pop covers. You've done Lady Gaga songs, Rihanna songs. Uh, does that cause a bit of a problem with some of the more ardent fans of heavy music, or does everyone just kind of get that it's a laugh? I think deep down everybody loves pop music, <laughs> although they don't admit it. It's kind of guilty pleasure, but I do think uh, people listen to pop music but just don't admit it. <laughs> I openly admit it. So. Yeah. I, I love Yeah, we all, we all love pop love music. <laughs> also, at the sound now is like some of the songs off the new CD are going to be a bit heavier anyway, so the guys... Who liked Octane before will probably probably uh, into like the poppier stuff as well. Yeah. Are there any pop covers on the album? Unfortunately no. not. Right. We should redo it actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we might just do an album of pop covers. Yeah. yeah. It, it's all, like you said, it's just a, we used to do it as a bit of a joke, not, not take yourself too serious and have a laugh of it. So. All good. All right, let's talk about the bands you're currently on tour with. Uh, why should people check out Crown Jewel Defence and Tangent to the Blind? Because, because uh, <laughs> the guy out of Crown Jewel Defence has got the best wardrobe I've ever seen in my life. It's, it's unbelievable. Serious leggings. Yeah. And he's got the best cut piece I've ever seen in my life as well. <laughs> it's impressive. So you should come just just for, just to see that. He's really. an entertainer, isn't he? So puts yeah. on a good show. Yeah, lovely yeah, guys. They've got good, good tracks. All, both wicked bands. Both really good. All right, and uh, where will Octane OK be one year from now? Here again in Manchester. Again. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully at a bigger venue. Bigger van. Bigger van. More yeah. seats. Yeah. <laughs> where you can get us all in the shop without panning left and right. <laughs> <laughs> Making people feel dizzy. You guys got any uh, tour festivals lined up? Uh, not as of yet, no. We ideally do want to get on a few, obviously, but um, not as of yet, but hopefully... We will we've, be we've, got stuff in, we've got stuff in the pipeline. It's just a working so process. So we can all right, and finally, do you have a message in right into the camera for all the fans who followed you and for all the fans who may be about to follow you after this album's release? Thanks for your support, and hopefully you'll keep supporting us and we'll yeah. go on the journey together. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, Octane, okay, everybody. I'll pan around. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks very much, guys. Cool, man. Cheers. Thank you very much. Pleasure.